proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it going to help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all-natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not going to corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not going to freeze, and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Folks, this grapple here is a new product on the market offered by Summit Tractors. Now you're looking at a 54 inch model 
good fit for the TX25 from Summit, but this is gonna come with a skid steer quick attach like what you see, just the regular old skid steer quick attach for the Summit or your Kubota, your Mahindra, your Massey, your Coyote. LS, the list kind of goes on and on and what uses the SSQA. Or you can get it for the JDQA as well. So all you John Deere owners, you're gonna be in the game too. JDQA, John Deere Quick Attach, SSQA, Skid Steer Quick Attach. Now this is gonna come in a lot of different sizes. So again, 54 inch here, but I think they're looking at like a 60, 66, 72. Maybe a 48, I don't know. There's gonna be a lot of options. This is gonna be something that's not sold through me. You're gonna to go to Summit Tractors to get this, but check it out, some really cool features. Number one, I love kind of that clamshell design. This is getting to be really popular uh, on, on compact tractors as well. It's also very lightweight. This whole thing only weighs 255 pounds, made out of a really high strength A50 steel, uh, the same kind of steel that's used in a lot of skid steer grapples, so stuff that takes a lot of really well, a lot of abuse, <laughs> maybe from an operator like me, um, but maybe the coolest thing above it all is that this is made in the USA, so it's a really good design all around. I love these serrated teeth that you can see, and I don't, well, we, hopefully we have some clean pictures too, but the tips down here actually are a double thickness. It's welded on, a double thickness of steel. Love this grapple design, these jaws, all the, the cuts, the angles these teeth, so to speak, you know, kind of like what we have on our, our stump bucket as well, but these really grab onto a load. So we've used this thing moving logs all around, uh, moving these boulders into place. Hang on, I want to see, it opens really wide from here to here. It's a really big dimension. I had it pulled up. Max opening over 35 inches wide from top to bottom, which is huge. About 10 inch time spacing all the way across. What else do you want to know? Uh, bottom jaw about 21 inches front to back all the way and again about 255 pounds so also you know i think well it serves two purposes right number one it makes it look kind of cool um, all these cutouts and everything else in here but that also saves weight you know you're cutting out weight when you don't need it to keep um, you know a limited loader capacity which all these compact tractors have um, keep that weight as low as possible so you can lift more with it and so often folks want too big of a grapple, right? A, a big six or whatever foot wide grapple on a small tractor and it weighs four or 500 pounds. That's just too much weight. So you wanna pay attention to the weight of the grapple to fit your machine. So if you take a look, not only do you have that double thickness all along the bottom teeth, but you have a cross brace right here. You have square tubing in the back down below, square tubing in the middle of the frame and more square tubing up top. So this thing is really reinforced all the way across. It really doesn't have any weak points. And then also you'll notice on the back side, you're gonna have two cylinders. So this isn't a one cylinder setup just in the middle. You have a cylinder on either end, and then you're gonna have a lot of grease points too. So you have grease points for uh, both sides of the, of the top jaw, uh, grease points at the, uh, the pivot locations for the cylinders on the back. So everything you need has Zerks on it. So it's ready to be easily accessed and maintained as needed. I've taught my cameraman well because he just said, did you mention the hoses are tucked away inside of the frame? And no. I didn't even realize it. So that's really awesome. I love to see that. They are, they're running right through the square tubing uh, to both ends and they kind of pop out in the middle so you can connect it to the hydraulic hoses on your tractor. That's a good detail. And you know what? After all this time, He's finally learning something. So that is gonna wrap it up for us today. Again, you get this grapple from summittractors.com, but we sell all sorts of tractor attachments. So if you're looking for something else for your front end loader, for your three point hitch, we'd love to help you out. Go to goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country. We got a lot of videos coming up on those new attachments that we offloaded. So if you wanna see those, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below, completely free. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.